Welcome to another free Microsoft Access video tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to take those toggle buttons that Microsoft Access creates and add some color to them. Okay, here's a real simple form that I put together. I've got a customer ID, auto number, a customer's nickname, Rick, text field, and I've got five check boxes over here representing which mailing lists this customer is on. This is for a fictitious PC resale company that does computer sales and service. There's a hardware, software, service, training, and web design mailing list they can be on. Now these check boxes are kind of bland, so I'm going to change these over to toggle buttons. So I'm going to go design view. Now if you want to build them from scratch, you can find toggle buttons up here in the toolbox right over there. That's a toggle button. But when you bring fields into a form, in normal form design, they come in as check boxes. These are yes, no fields. All you have to do is right click, come down to change to, and then pick toggle button right there. That changes that checkbox over into a toggle button. And you can just resize it however big you want it to be, like that. Now, the labels over here, I'm going to delete it. And in here, click and put web design, like that. That's a caption. Okay, web design. Now I'll do the same thing for these other checkboxes. Unfortunately, you can't do them all at once, so you have to right click, change to, toggle button, resize it, put training on it as a caption, and then delete the label. And I'll do the same thing for the other three checkboxes. And there we go, all finished. Now I'm going to save this, just saving it as form one, that's fine. And let's switch over to form view. Now you can see which ones are pushed on and which ones are pushed off. But it's kind of hard to tell, right? They're kind of bland. All right, and is, is this the on one or is this the off one? I really, I really don't know. So maybe we can use a color scheme like red or green, right? Green for on, red for off. That might make a little more sense. How do we do that? Well, right click, design view. Let's set all of these guys to a different color scheme. So come up top here. We'll go to format, quick styles, and let's pick this one here for red. All right, so now they're all defaulting to red. And let's make sure the default value for these guys is all set to false. All right, so right click, come down to properties, and on the data tab, make sure the default value in here is false. And if you have a default value set in your table, make sure that's as well. So now at least on a new blank record, they're all set to red. But if I check one of them on, I still can't really tell that much of a difference. I mean, it's slightly shaded. All right. So let's make it so the on color is green. All right. Back to design view. Select all of them again. Right click. Go to properties. On the Format tab, you're going to find Hover Color and Pressed Color. Now, the Pressed Color is the color that you get when the button is pressed on. So let's come over here. I don't want Accent 2 darker 20%. That basically says Accent 2 is the color that we selected for that toggle button. I don't want that. It's going to be darker 20% than normal. So I'm going to come over here and click on this little dot, dot, dot button. And that will bring up the actual color palette. Now you can pick from the themes colors, which may change if you change the theme of the form again, or you could pick standard colors. If you pick standard colors, that puts an actual color code into the field there. So no matter what happens, if you change the theme, if you change the formatting, it always stays that color. You can also change the hover color when the mouse hovers over it. I like to sometimes do like a yellow there when you hover over it. Okay? So... Oh, and one more thing. You can actually change the back color here, too. I've got quick style in there, but if you want to come in here and change it to an actual set color like that, that'll work, too. Okay, whatever you want to do or stick with the quick styles, those are fine. Just remember, if you change the quick style, it'll change the whole form. So let's see what I've got. I'll save it, and I'll flip back over to form view. Now, let's go back to record one here. Oh, look at that. These guys are green. Oh, and when I hover over... You can see the yellow there. 
right click click see all right that's a little more obvious as far as which ones are on and which ones are off so if you like using toggle buttons that's a great trick if you want to learn more about all the access form controls like toggle buttons option groups tab controls and lots more visit my website accesslearningzone.com and look for my access expert level 4 class you'll find a complete outline some sample videos and lots more and of course look in the link in the description below the video to find a direct link straight to this class and of course if you have any questions or comments please feel free to post them below thanks for watching